Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Maddie. I'm a third year medical student in the US and one of the co-founders of Remnant. After all these study videos, I thought it'd be a good idea to show you what an ideal study day looks like for me. I have my surgery shelf exam coming up next week, so definitely quite a bit to study for. Even on busy services like surgery, we still have to make space in our schedules to study, which is why I try to use only the most efficient methods. A little bit goes a long way. And that's why I use Remnote. Remnote is the first smart notes tool that applies science to your studies. And it's a free app. You can make an account and get started today. Since today is Sunday and I don't have to come into work, I can devote the entire day preparing for my exam. By 6.45, I'm on my yoga mat. I have a quick routine that helps me start the morning and activate all the major muscle groups of the body. And then I'll down a glass of Mother Nature's Finest and change into the appropriate study wear for the day. I'm not a perfect person and I definitely fall prey to procrastination and distractions. Just visualizing that daunting pile of practice questions and flashcards I have to go through doesn't sound like that much fun. But as I learned in physics class, an object in motion tends to stay in motion. So I just have to get the ball rolling with very small tasks. So I'm gonna do the simplest task possible uh, just to get my feet wet. I'm gonna do one RevNote flashcard. And then I'll do another one, and then another one, and another one. Hopefully the goal is to build momentum with very frictionless studying to get in the mood to actually work hard. By 8 a.m., I'm a little hungry. So I go out to make a bagel and have a banana and steep some green tea, continuing to do Remnote flashcards while I impatiently wait for my bagel to ripen. Now that I'm refreshed, I begin to tackle my first major study block for the day. As you know, the best study strategies are active recall, spaced repetition, and interleaving. For a refresher on these learning strategies, definitely check out our playlist here. So I start off my session with 25 practice questions from New World. I randomize the questions to employ interleaving, and since they're all practice questions, by default, I'm also using active recall. I also have a RemNote document pulled up on the side just to capture any new information onto flashcards. I generally like to follow the one minute per question idea so 25 questions, roughly 25 minutes and change, serves as a Pomodoro timer for me. Now I'll take a five minute break, catch up on some overdue toilet time while listening to new music. For those of you that don't know, Mike and I make lo-fi and hip-hop music by our moniker Cajun Koi, and we curate study playlists, which you can check out on Spotify. Oh, and if there are any music producers or music aficionados, Feel free to send us your tunes. We'd love to check them out and add them to our mix. So send them over. I'll struggle through about three more Pomodoro sessions, 25 minutes on, five minutes off, before heading to the kitchen to make a sloppy sandwich for lunch while I listen to a podcast. I use Air to stream my podcasts. It's an incredible app designed to capture notes from podcasts. And what's better is the seamless integration with Remnote. So all the notes I capture are imported directly into my database. It's 1 p.m. now and after lunch, I switch up my study environment. And I'll sit on the couch to tackle more Remnote flashcards, taking great care to sit upright to avoid the looming food coma. And this starts my second study block for the day, where I literally just churn through my flashcard queue. RevNote flashcards have a customizable space repetition algorithm and randomization. So by doing flashcards, I'm employing active recall, spaced repetition, and interleaving all at the same time. RevNote also has a built-in Pomodoro feature. So I'm alerted on when I need to stand up, stretch my legs, or grab a handful of almonds. 
At 3 p.m., I'm starting to lose focus and desperately need a pick-me-up. So I grab my gear and head to the rock climbing gym where I meet up with the homie Joe for a session and a bro hang. Exercise is such a great way to reset the brain for studying and get some blood flowing to sleepy muscles. After an exhausting and only somewhat disappointing climb, I head home and make a shake with blueberries, hemp seeds, and soy protein. Then I throw some dinner in the oven while I take a shower. I'll have dinner while watching YouTube videos and then call Mike to check in on some projects that we're working on. Yo, you have to go see a patient right now? And now I'll begin my third and final study session for the day. I'll revisit the RemNote document from my morning session. These were all the topics that I didn't know well or struggled with earlier. So I'll take some time now to fill in any gaps in my knowledge using textbooks or online videos. The reason I wait until my last study block to do this is because I want to utilize interleaving, right? Again, to resurface the information. After I've gone through all of my notes and refreshed on anything I need to, I'll finish off the day with, you guessed it, more RemNote flashcards. I feel pretty good about the amount of work I accomplished today, so I'll relax and read or play guitar to wind down. It's been a hard day's work, and my bedtime is quickly approaching. Yes, I sleep by 9.30 p.m. since I have to be up by 4.30 a.m. to make it to the hospital on time to see my patients before rounds. Sleep is super important, especially on heavy study days like today, since our brains consolidate everything we learn into our long-term memory while we sleep. So if you've been procrastinating and watching this video instead of studying, now's probably a good time to hit the books, unless you want to watch me sleep, which might be pretty entertaining. People find a lot of weirder things to watch on YouTube these days. I hope you enjoyed that video. Give it a thumbs up because it really helps us out. And if you want to see more, click on the red subscribe button down here or the circle up here. Check out our website or check out our Instagram. Links in the description below. And check out these videos over here. We think you might enjoy them. And we'll see you next time.